Hi there, Kathy Jordan from Kathy Jordan Design. Uh, today we're going to show you how to do some gold leafing. And it sounds like it'd be very difficult, but really it's extremely easy. I have this mirror that was part of a 1970s bedroom outfit. And nobody's really having the mirrors attached to their dressers anymore. They're hanging things, they're kind of mixing it up a little bit. But I thought it was so pretty. It wasn't something that I wanted to discard. And today, when you know so much is winding up in the garbage, it's really important to find other uses or just change the way they look and use them in a different way. So uh, I decided that I wanted to do gold. So I've started this already. As you can see, I've gold leaf this area here. And what I've already done that I won't be demonstrating is I have applied gold size. So sometimes when I'm doing gold leafing, what I'll do is I'll paint the whole piece, maybe aural, because that's close to a gold color so that when the gold leaf goes on and it happens to crack and I don't want the color underneath to show through then I'll, I'll paint it yellow first but in this case I wanted a little bit of that dark to show through so I just went on top of this piece with the gold size alone so you brush it on you leave it on there probably I don't know it'll be dry in about an hour or so and when I say dry it goes on white and when it's ready to go it'll be clear but it's tacky so this glue is a glue that's never going to not be tacky unless you cover it with something like I'm doing here with the gold leaf and after that I'm going to seal it so that nothing else is is uh, tacky afterwards so I've done a few pieces here so so far I've done about four sheets and gold leafing is you can buy 24 karat gold but what we have here is in fact brass so you can get a package of hundred sheets they're very thin, as you can tell, for $29.95. There's also copper, and there's also silver, which is aluminum. Uh, but very pretty metallic effects. Really looks convincing. And uh, I think I'm just going to show you now how to put this gold leaf right onto here. So each sheet of gold leaf is separated by a thin, thin, thin uh, little piece of paper. So I try to use that to help me along. So I'm just going to try to lay this down right there. I kind of hate wasting the product without getting my paper stuck. So I am just kind of tapping that down and I'm just kind of making it fit into all of those little grooves. And as you can see, it's kind of cracking. And if there's cracks that are too big, I can go back and fix that. So it's nothing that I need to worry about. And here I go. I'm just kind of using my soft brush and I am just tapping it down. And now I'm just going to really kind of burnish it on there. And I've got a little bit left over here. So I can just take that and just kind of tap it into place there if I felt like the cracks were a little bit more than I wanted because it's still tacky because there's nothing on there. And I can just keep going. So I'm just going to keep going around my mirror once I'm all done and I'm satisfied with how it looks. Then I'm going to go on to it with a clear finish and uh, and just seal it completely. Another fun thing that you can do with gold leafing is, now I did a little short video on this a while ago, but you can use Iron Orchid Design's fabulous stamps. So instead of using paint on them, you can go ahead and use gold size on them. So in effect, what you're doing is you're stamping a design onto your piece, like I did here. You let it tack up just like this, and then you take your gold leaf sheets, lay them on there, and then just brush off anything that's not sticking to gold leaf, or sorry, the gold leaf size. And then you've got a fantastic design. And this one I sealed, um, I just used a shellac on this because I thought it'd be kind of fun, bright and shiny. Anyway, uh, we have all these supplies here. If you are interested sometime to do something fun like this, let us know, give us a call. We are open for business during this very difficult time. For everyone so if you're feeling like you'd like to be creative at home this might be a fun project for you thanks so much